Hello everyone and welcome to your brand new module. It's called OMED 1356, Inquiry Skills for Research in Healthcare Practice. And I'm David Evans, the module leader. I'm Professor in Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing. So I'm looking forward to meeting you when we start on this particular module. Just to clarify um, any confusion, if you see any reference at all to OMED 1411, just ignore it. We were meant to be having um, students from the brand new MSc Interprofessional Healthcare Simulation joining us. So I wrote all the documentation, including OMED 1356 and OMED 1411, and we've just been told that they're not starting this year. Okay, so if you see any reference to that, simply ignore it, okay? No problems at all. But welcome to your module. Um, you'll see that I've got the, uh, the, the Moodle site up and running for you and I'll explain all of that in another video. So who am I? I've just told you my name is David and I'm your module leader. I've been running this module for the last few years as part of the uh, postgraduate diploma for health visitors, school nurses and district nurses, but I started running it even earlier as part of the top-up MA in healthcare practice. So you never know, after you've completed this diploma, you may decide to come back and do the top-up MA, in which case you won't be repeating this module, you'll do a different one in its place. Okay, so I've been running it for a few years. My original backgrounds, um, I started nursing at 17. I did two years in orthopedic education first, and then SRN, as we used to be called um, uh, in the good old days, uh, SRN. Then I took a seven year break to study for the Catholic priesthood, and then three years working in parish life um, as a priest. Then I decided to leave the Catholic priesthood, so I walked away and came back into nursing. And I worked on an HIV ward at St. Mary's in Paddington uh, back in 1989. Then I had my first teaching post in April of 1990, and I've been teaching ever since. Different universities and colleges, um, usually here in the UK, sometimes teaching abroad, uh, and here I am now today. Okay, so very glad to be with you. So I'm the programme leader for the Top Up MA, but I also run this module as part of your programme and for the MSE in advanced clinical practice, and I run all the sexual health modules. So um, a fair old bag of work to do. Now, a big emphasis with this particular research methods course is you'll notice all the different ways in which I'm hoping that you're going to be able to boost what's called your digital literacy. So there will be lots of ways of learning new technologies, um, new ways of sharing your ideas with others, and whether that's on social media or through using different types of platforms. So please, even if you do consider yourself to be a bit frightened of technology, a little bit technophobic, don't panic. Just keep telling me all the time, tell me your worries and your fears about any new uh, uh, resources. Even when you look at the Moodle site, you might think, blimey, this looks different to others that I've seen. Don't let that panic you or phase you at all. Especially since the COVID-19 pandemic, look at the ways in which we've all had to get used to different types of technologies and for your futures in you know in three years in five years in ten years time even healthcare practice will be far more digitalized than than it is now today so look at ways of embracing all these new changes even if you're a bit fearful acknowledge that fear but let's work with it and see ways of overcoming it so whether it's navigating your way around the moodle site or learning the different technologies that I'll be promoting throughout this course. Take these as good opportunities so that when you finish this module, not only will you have learned theoretical issues around research methods, but you'll also know of lots of different ways of actually disseminating that, of sharing it with others. And that's that key aspect of your level seven-ness to be able to share your knowledge, share your research with others. Okay, so we're going to start off on week one looking at one of those brand new technologies. When you go onto the Moodle site, you'll notice in the right hand pane that there's one little box box called um, Upcoming Events, and it's linked then to the calendar. So if you wanted to see further into the future, it's all there in the calendar. So when you see the upcoming events, that's going to be the most recent thing coming up now. So whenever you've got uh, an online session, for example, that's where you'll see the date and the time. And if you click it, that's what will take you into the link for that MS Teams meeting.
But for our very first week, we're going to do it quite differently. So just to start off, maybe for the first hour, instead of using MS Teams, so please don't turn that on, we're going to go to a different site called Wonder. So just go on to Moodle, look at the right hand box that will say upcoming events and when you get in close to 10 o'clock on our first morning click that and there's the link for wonder and the page is going to look like this screen I've got here so rather than MS Teams which tends to be quite clunky we're either all on it together or it was split into breakout rooms and we can't move from those breakout rooms with this one with wonder as soon as you go to sign in, it'll ask you to take a photo. So if you're happy with your photo being taken, just sit there and smile at your camera. Yeah, or put your hand up if you don't want your photo taken. But it's lovely for us to be able to see who other people are. This platform is even used for conferences because it can host up to 500 people on here. So it'll ask you to take your photo and maybe I've set a little icebreaker question. So just put an answer into that. And when you appear on the Wonder site, see that little circle in the middle, that's a picture of me so that's me there so when you appear you will be a little circle on there and as soon as you move your circle close to somebody else it forms a circle around you all and that's what turns on your webcams so you can then talk to people within your own little circle and what I've done on this wonder site here is I've set some zones for district nursing health visiting school nursing and then I've made up some from our campus at Avery Hill so the coffee room the dome and standing by the photocopier okay so first of all when you go in drag your little icon to your own professional group and when others join you when you move close enough together it'll form a circle and turn your cameras on because what, what I want you to do is to start introducing yourselves to each other because some of the feedback we've had over the last couple of years because of COVID is some students have said that they feel a bit isolated and they're not really getting to know who's in their own professional group so this is going to be a really easy way to do it and then I'll send a broadcast message after a few minutes saying please move and meet somebody else so you might go to, you just drag your little icon and go somewhere else maybe the coffee room or the dome and you're going to bump into others and as soon as you do uh, uh, that's how you turn your cameras on now this won't work on mobile phones so you're going to have to be using laptops ipads pcs whatever but it won't work on mobile phones so we'll try that maybe up to the first hour or so and if there are any problems or difficulties we'll have to abandon this and you'll see that I've already put a link in for the second session which is MS Teams. So if I say to you all, right this isn't working, let's come out of here, that's when we'll activate the MS Teams and we'll go on to the routine site there. Okay, so please don't panic, but let's try this for a bit of fun. It really is good fun. That's how, how we're going to start. So how the module will work and run. You'll notice it's called um, OMED 1356 and because this is the second occurrence, the modus operandi is the second occurrence in this academic year, that's why you'll see MO2 written down. Okay? And the way in which, which is going to happen is, is sort of threefold. First of all, there are some live teaching sessions. So in the programme, you'll see that there are lots of dates where there are live teaching sessions. Sometimes it's all asynchronous. That means we're not all together at the same time. It's asynchronous. So you might be told, right, you've got a, a study week on it this week but there's no live session. So that means you access it whenever you want to throughout the week. But you'll notice that it, with each of the little blocks of study, so supposing it's a block on qualitative research, right, that's the stuff we're studying this week. When you go into that block, there's a little resource book and everything you need will be in the resource book for you. And there's also a little chat zone called a forum zone. So you go into there and that's where you share your ideas and learning with us. So some weeks we're all online, some weeks it's asynchronous, but even when we're online, that gives you an opportunity to go into the forum zone at any time you want to and carry on chatting, carry on adding to your learning. So we've got some live teaching sessions, there are some weeks which are the asynchronous, and then by using the forum zones, you've got the opportunity for our online community engagement with each other. Also, what we're doing this year, for the very first time we're trying this one out, some of you from district nursing, you have to be on campus for particular skills days. So, if you take your laptops with you, but you'll also need headsets, please. 
take your laptops with you and we've booked some rooms for you. So you, you've got the choice of going into those rooms, sit there together with each other, but all use your own laptops with headsets on, okay? Um, or earpieces, whatever you're using. So those of you who are being asked to go to campus, please go to campus. For the rest of you, you join in, whether it's Wonder or most weeks then it's MS Teams, you join in um, wherever you are. So some of you may be at home, some of you may be on campus, but deciding not to go to the classroom. So you may be in other venues around the place, or maybe some of you aren't expected in, but you want to go in anyway because you want to use the library or other facilities. It's entirely up to you where you access this. So the teachers, whoever the teacher is for the week, they'll be like Live online. Some of you will be in the classroom if your district nursing course has said we've got a classroom booked for you and the others you access it wherever you are. Hopefully when nice weather comes you might even want to sit outside on the benches outside and do it. So it's really quite flexible and it's helping to address your needs of where you want to be to access the learning not expecting you all to be together um, at the one time. Okay, um, what I'm going to encourage you to do then, I've opened the Moodle for you already, so go onto the Moodle site and you'll notice it does look a bit different to others. Whereas some others may have um, weekly blocks that you go into, this has just got a pretty little picture for each theme that we're doing. And that's because sometimes with some of the teachers then, we might have to move things around. And it's really clunky and difficult on Moodle to move blocks around like that. So rather than call them week one, week two, week three, I'm calling it by the theme. So when you look at your programme, if you see that this week it's called um, uh, qualitative research, then just go to the box that says qualitative research. And the way that um, uh, I've designed all of this then is that there's a block for each theme. And when once you click into the block, you'll see there's a little book, a green resources book. When you go into there, everything you need for the week is all in there. Even the live recordings from MS Teams, as soon as I get the link for them, I'll put them in there. So if you do miss the live sessions at all, you can always catch up. Just go into the resources book and you'll find the link to the live video in there. Okay? Now, the very first block, it gives you a clue on the outside what it, what it means, because it says, start here. That's what it's expecting you to do, start here. When you go into there, click the resources uh, book, and that's where you'll see your programme. You can download a PDF of the programme if you want to, or there's the full handbook in there as well. So if you want to keep a copy of that, you just save that down, print it off, whatever you like. It's all in the resources book um, uh, in that very first block, that says start here, okay? And then you'll see, as you look down the Moodle site, you'll see um, uh, the themes for each of the sessions, so you know where we'll be going. And down the right-hand side of the Moodle, you've got the upcoming events. So whenever we have an online session, just click that and you'll find the link in there. But also there's a Twitter feed down the side. So if any of you are using Twitter, the particular one we use for all our health um, postgrad students is shown down the right hand side. And when you start telling me about different um, fields of practice that you're interested in or different topics, if I spot something on my own Twitter feed that I think, oh, certain students are interested in this, I'll send it to that Twitter account. So every time you go in, just have a glance down the side what's on that Twitter feed, because it may be that there's something there just for you as well. And we'll also look at joining Twitter. So for those of you not using it, or maybe you've signed up and uh, you, you don't access it much, we'll look at uh, um, addressing some of those issues because Twitter and LinkedIn will be great ways for you disseminating your learning and sharing it with others. Okay, so that's what you'll find on your Moodle page. Now, you'll notice there are a couple of abbreviations I sometimes use. The, 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 the main one is KWL, and that comes from this lovely little book called Teaching Backwards by Griffith and Burns. So if any of you are teachers or into teaching or mentoring others, I'd really recommend this fantastic little book. And the abbreviation KWL stands for what do you know? What more do you want to know? And then after you've done the learning, reflect back and think, what new things did I learn? So you might want to start off in that first introductory block where it says start here. 
You might want to go into the forum zone there, introduce yourselves to each other, and maybe use this little abbreviation. So what you already know about research methods, what do you want to know from me from this course, what more do you want to know, and then look back and tell us what you did learn. So supposing you come to the different weekly sessions that we're doing, you might want to go in before the weekly session starts and tell us what you know already on this topic. And what would you like to get out of the particular session? And then go back afterwards after doing the learning and tell us what you actually learned from it. And that's it basically. So looking forward to meeting you um, uh, on Wonder and then on MS Teams, which we'll be using um, for all of our live weekly sessions. Okay, so look forward to seeing you and bye bye for now.